going on, my crypto family? Um, let's talk about Polkadot. Um, we got like 1.5 people, 1.5 uh, 1. million people watching us. And I think this thing could go to like maybe three, 380. Even right now, that was a really good buy. Like, people are fucking stupid that think like this project's dead or whatever. This project's gonna be huge. I mean, number one, where are you at right now? 4.9, you know, billion market cap. And to me, this is. It's already at a fifty billion. I believe this is going to be a hundred billion pro million, a uh, hundred billion dollar project. Easy, easy. Um, let's see. We got a few articles that were just written. Um, this is polka dot insider on motherfucker and what is he on uh, Twitter? Sorry, my brain's all fucked up. Um. But yeah, a lot of people are saying hold and buy. Um, I'd like to see these opinions, but tons of uh, social engagement. That's a lot, 45 million. So like tweets, likes. Um, you know, this was just made, what, a day ago, two days ago. Three stunning cryptocurrencies to buy before 2023. Or fucking, you can buy it in January. Nothing's gonna go up that crazy. But yeah, bro, talking about my polka dot. You know, polka dot is open source decentralized sharding protocol. Um, polka dot team believes that the blockchain sector has reached a point of critical mass and can no longer be ignored. As such, the team develop. Uh, the team developed Polkadot to provide some solutions to face issues facing blockchain technology uh, from security, privacy, network parachains to scalability. Um, so, yeah, they're like, where was I? I had an article where they talked about. Like. Polkadot's. Um. Oh, efficiency, like get for Avax, Solana, Cosmos, Near, BNB, Matic, Phantom, fucking dots working the hardest. Um, this provides security for crypto networks against manipulation. Um, with the at sixty two, it meant six. It meant Polkadot validators were actively ensuring full blockchain functionality while obstructing network compromise. So yeah, Polkadot was also on top of the ranking on the eighteenth September eighteenth, but um, and that was at eighty two. This implied that no one, this uh, was one of the few projects with an aim towards complete. Decentralization. That's like the fucking key. Like everyone doesn't get it. Like Polkadot's working super hard for that. And that's what everybody wants. And you have Gavin Wood. You have a sick team. Um, Kusama. Shit, I like Kusama. I mean, I think definitely you should have some Kusama in your fucking portfolio. And Polkadot. If you believe in like Web3 and like think about it like AOL, America Online, you know what I mean? Like Polkadot, it's just huge. It's uh, It's got the biggest team. You got a big shot, Gavin Wood. You have tons of developers. It's just too, um, too big to not... Um, you know what I mean? It's just too big of a project, guys. To not buy in right now. There's another one. What does this one say? Could be a big year. Details for ETH and Polkadot. I'm telling you guys. That's the last thing. Um, 
Looking at Polkadot, the Coin Bureau host says he sees multiple strong points for the interoperability blockchain, including its founder, Gavin Wood, and its efforts towards decentralization and a strong developer community. Here he is, the guy. I think it has uh, two particular things going for it. It has one of the highest active developer counts in all of crypto. There are lots of people working on Polkadot. And of course, Gavin Wood, the guy behind it, is very, very smart dude. And speaking of Gavin Wood, I think Polkadot has gone a long way in taking many steps towards decentralization. And I think that is going to be really important. Any crypto project that isn't uh, sufficiently decentralized could have a really tough year next year. And I think Polkadot is moving in that direction. So I can imagine Polkadot will still be around uh, come the next bull market. I think it has got a lot going for it. That said, it's got some headwinds as well. We need to see more use cases for DOT, certainly. We need to uh, see more development. There's obviously competition for the likes of Cosmos, which is another awesome project. I like Cosmos too, but I think Polkadot will do better. And all the other kind of layer ones out there. But I think Polkadot has some strong fundamentals and long-term I'm bullish on it. And these are big shots talking about it. So, I mean, it's a safe fucking 10x from where it's all time high. And I think it's going to do a lot more. You know what I mean? Like, so much institutional money and stuff. Like, once this bull run does kick in, it's going to be a while. Things are going to fly up. You're going to look back and say, man, Polkadot was at like $4 and I could have bought some. Or you could look at whatever, Kusama. I mean, lower market cap, and it's uh, the Canary system. 200 million market cap. Once was at a five, six billion dollar evaluation. I mean, and look, look at their fucking ecosystem. It's just massive, dude. It's so fucking massive. A lot of these projects I do like. Some people don't. I like, I mean, Moon, Moon River, Origin Trail, Ren. It's okay. Um, I like this just because of the tokenomics. As star moonbeam, I mean, fucking Clover Finance had a twenty million market cap. Could you know this? This is definitely um, a low market cap. That's gonna you know what I mean. A lot of these coins, if you can Pokedex, but but like I said, since we're in a bear market and probably never gonna see prices like this again, man. I don't know, dude. I, like I said, I would. At this price, 424 or anything like that. Yeah, I think you should be DCA. Um, not financial advice, but it, fuck it. It's financial advice. But it's from me, and it's from a guy that's just looking on a computer. So whatever, you don't have to take it. But I, I do follow um, Polkadot, Gavin Wood. They're supposed to uh, 10x their speed by the end of this month or January. It would be faster than Solana. Polkadot has so much shit going for it. Guys, I know LCX and all that, but dude, fucking really just take a look at this and uh, I think you'd want to put some money in it. We're all here to 10x, 5x our money, right, boys? All right, subscribe and like, please, please. All right, I'll come up with another video. Sorry, man, I'm working on like two hours of sleep right now. I feel like crap. I feel like shit. Oh... But that's, that's life. That's life.